because they had spent too much. Their instincts were still borrow and borrow and borrow. And here you are coming back saying much the same thing. The crash was not caused by government investment in services in Britain. It was not caused by... Party was no, punished no, for it. Well, it was not caused by the number of nurses and teachers we have in Britain. It was caused by a deregulated banking system that was investing in subprime mortgages in the USA. And there was a contagion because of it. Since then, the I'm banking sorry. regulation does require them to have sufficient capital assets to protect them against that. And there's much tougher regulation on the banking system. Maybe it should be even tougher. There's a good case for that. But it was not government expenditure that caused the crash. For whatever reason, the idea is deeply rooted in British voters that Labour governments borrow and spend too much. Are you not taking a huge political risk by doubling down as the Americans would We're say on that? Invest to grow. Invest in housing. Put it this way. We're spending nine and a half billion every year. Nine and a half billion. Get that figure. On subsidising the private housing market, on the private rented sector, through uh, housing benefit payments to tenants who have the right to access those benefits.